Hi everyone. This is Israel, the southern part of the country. It's mid-May now. Lots of sun, lots of birds, lots of flowers, insects and everything else. Israel's climate, with hot summer and mild winter, is well suited for growing figs. Therefore, here is one of the ancient Mediterranean centers of fig tree cultivation, which is several thousand years old. There are many old local fix varieties in Israel and moreover, there are varieties which were introduced during the Turkish protectorate. Two scientists, Grasowski and Waits, explored the region and published it in 1932 description of several dozen native varieties. I grew a few local varieties of fix here. Almost all of my trees were young and were planted here last autumn. By the way, I grow figs on Espalier in accordance with the advice of one of the American figs collector. So, the first variety is the local variety Tbali or Tabali. Perhaps its name comes from the Arabic word for drum, because of the shape of Matthew flat figs is like a round flat drum. This is an old variety, quite rare today. Tbali has not very large green leaves. His figs are suitable for fresh consumption, for making gems, but traditionally it has been widely used for drying. It should be very sugary and fruitful. According to the local description, Matthew figs are large or very large. It's now mid-May, but the figs are already quite large. I started to form this plant as a flat cordon. The tree is intensively watered, and young vertical shoots of the plant grow very well from the lo lower horizontal level of a spalier. Fix of the main crop are reaping on them. Tbali has many brebas. They are located in different places, both on the branches of the upper part of the plant and in the lower part of the tree, at the base of the trunk and main branches, not far from ground. It's well known that figs on a very young tree don't have their full size and full test. But I am very interested in how the brebas and figs of the main crop will ripen, how they will look and when this will happen. The second plant on this espalier is a little known and very rare variety possibly undeservedly rare, which is called Eineke. Eineke translated from Hebrew means my eyes. Only a few trees of this variety are known in Israel. It is believed that the variety originated from accidental hybridization. A very productive variety. Figs are used for fresh consumption and for making gems. Like the previous tree on my espalier, this fig tree was planted here last autumn, and now I shape it like a flat cordon. The leaves of this variety are small, plant is not very tall, and the variety has relatively short internodes. My plant now has young figs of main crop and also has breba. Its shape resembles the beautiful oriental eye, probably hence the name of the variety. In accordance with the local description, this is very beautiful, fruitful fig of excellent quality. I am looking forward to the maturation of Eineke figs, because it's very interesting to see how this variety will develop in my region and how it will grow on Espalier. Well, 
Now we will leave this espalier with the wonderful varieties Dbali and Eineke and move on to the second espalier. On another espalier the first fig is a Brazilian variety. It has been quite popular recently in Israel because it produces large decorative figs under local conditions and is very fruitful. Therefore, in some places of Israel, the variety began to be grown on the industrial scale. I don't know why the variety is called Brazilian. Perhaps he was introduced to Israel from Brazil and got a new name here. But in Brazil, the main commercial fig variety is a brown turkey California. So it might be brown turkey, but I'm not sure. Let's wait for the Matthew fix. Now the plant, which was planted here in the autumn, looks good and actively forms new branches and many young figs. We will observe the plant development and I hope my spalier is high enough to make a nice double flat cordon and place the Brazilian fig correctly on it. The next fig on this espalier is an old local variety, Shahmani, which was once widespread but now has become rare. Shahmani figs are described as very large, elongated, green-yellow, low in moisture and very sweet fig. Suitable for fresh consumption, for making jams and excellent for drying. The maximum sugar content of the figs is obtained just before picking. The variety is very productive. The harvesting period is extended and lasts from August to November. My Shahmani is very young, planted here in autumn, but I can already see young figs and look forward to their ripening. The next one is the Kurtmani variety. According to many sources, it's considered the best Israeli fig. Some people think that it's similar to Brunswick, and some people doubt it. According to the description, the figs of Kurtmani are medium sized, tea drop shaped, purple with green spots. Fig skin is thin and tender. This is one of the sweetest local figs. Hortmani figs are suitable for fresh consumption and for making gems. Ripening of figs begins in mid-August. Sometimes in October there is a second small wave of figs ripening. My Hortmani was planted here last autumn. The plant is actively branching. Young figs of the main harvest are already visible and there is an oblong breba, relatively large for mid-May. Let's see what size it will reach when fully ripe. The variety is certainly interesting and has long been grown in Israel on an industrial scale. The next variety came to me accidentally and I don't know its name. I marked this variety as unknown. The variety has very strong shoots for a plant that was planted here in the autumn and very thick broad leaves with abundant pubescence. Young shoots are thick with rather short internodes. Young figs of main crop are visible in almost every node. There are several brebas. Grazowski and Waits described one of the local figs variety which called glati as a tree with small green round figs and unusually thick leaves. It might be glati, but I am not sure. We must wait for the ripe figs. And I am not sure uh, that the vigorous tree would be suitable for espalier cultivation. The next variety is just in the pot now, because it's Smyrna. Excellent fix, suitable for fresh consumption, making gems and especially for drying. Is it well known that any fix of the Smyrna group needs pollination by the wasp Blastophaga? 
This is experiment and if Blastophaga presence will confirmed in my region and I will see high quality pollinated Smyrna figs, then this fig tree will find its place on the espalier. Until this moment we will keep it in the pot and see what happened with its beautiful young figs. The last bush on this espalier is a well-known variety Zbay or Sebay. Perhaps the name comes from the Arabic word seven, as the variety is early and ripens in July. Figs are very sweet, early ripening with an extended period of fruiting. Figs are large, round flattened, purple with greens. The peel of Matthew figs has many small cracks. Zbay has interesting pink spots on each node in the upper part of the shoots which later turn brown. The variety is fruitful. Zbai is considered the second best local variety of figs after Kortmani. When the figs arrive, I will post videos with their image, size and weight. Now let's move on to the next fig. Not all my figs grow on a spalier. There is one tree about 6 years old that grows outside the espalier and reaches a height of approximately 4 meters. It already has young figs on it, so it is covered with a special mesh to protect it from penetration, insects and birds. This is the Nazareth variety, well known throughout Israel. There it is called Nazarti. It is possible that this is second name of the Bosnian white who came to Israel during the Turkish rule and is grown throughout the country. It is fruitful variety with large yellow-green figs with unicolored pulp. There is a breba which sometimes reached large size when ripe. Young figs of the main crop have a long neck and a long stalk, but as they mature, the proportion and shape of the fig changes and becomes like a bell. Nazarti figs are used for fresh consumption, for making gems and probably for drying. The fruiting period is extended and lasts from early summer to late autumn. Variety is vigorous, reliable, with powerful shoots and large long leaves. Cutting of Nazareth figs root well. Nazareth figs are still grown in local agriculture. So, dear friends, I will carefully grow my fix varieties. Please subscribe to my channel and together we will observe the growth and fruiting of this wonderful exotic Israeli fix. Thanks for watching and see you next time.